Hi everyone! This video is going to be a swatch overview and review of Sephora's new Pantone Universe collection for the 2015 color of the year, which is Marsala. So if you're not familiar, for the past few years, Sephora has partnered with Pantone, which is a company that every year chooses the color of the year in prediction of what will be a very popular color. And they create a capsule collection inspired and centered around that upcoming color of the year. So this year is Marsala and it is sort of a brownish red color. It's very warm and honestly a lot of people have had negative response to be this color being chosen for this year and at first I wasn't that intrigued either but the more that I look at this color and the shades that are inspired by it and the ways that you can wear it I kind of like it. Um, of course my opinion isn't really final and I have yet to check out the colors and the products that are included in this collection. I'm going to swatch them for the first time with you in this video. And then as always at AlloraBeauty.com I will have reviews that are more thorough after I've tested each product. And those reviews always include photos and swatches and of the lip products applied to the lips. So as those reviews become completed, I will update the description box below with links to each individual review, or you can always just check out AlloraBeauty.com, as I hope you will, for the reviews that go up every single day. Another bonus in this video is that Sephora has been nice enough to send a couple of these products to give away to you, and that includes the eyeshadow palette and the lipstick, which is pretty awesome. So in order to be eligible to win in this giveaway, please make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and leave a comment in the comment section below. Do not write enter me or I want to win this giveaway. Please write something that is interesting and engaging. All right, let's get looking at each of these products and swatching the colors. Here we have the Marsala Layering Lip Collection and this cost $28. It is a set of chubby lip crayons. The first shade here is Marsala. Next we have Dusty Cedar, Canyon Clay, Rose Dawn, and Muted Clay. So here is Marsala. It's actually more of a very soft, nudie red with that same brickish tone to it. Here's Dusty Cedar which is more of a traditional nude but that's pink. Here's Canyon Clay which is more of a flush nude. Rose Dawn which is a paler nude. This one's more peach toned and here's Muted Clay Another more flesh toned nude, but it's less red than this flesh toned nude. Okay, here are your five layering lip colors. They have sort of more natural pigmentation and just a very slightly glossy finish to them, but they are all matte, they don't have any shimmer. Here we have the Cooling Marsala Multi Stick, and it's in the shade Marsala and it retails for $25. So here is a swatch of the cooling stick just applied straight from the tube. You can see it's that brick red color with a lot of golden shimmer. So here's what that looks like up close before I blend. All right, and as I blend it out, it seems to kind of dry quickly, so try to do one cheek at a time. That would be my suggestion for application. Okay, so here's what that looks like after it is blended out. Get this deep reddish brown shade and a lot of nice, small, very reflective shimmer particles. Here's what the outside of the palette looks like for the Facets of Marsala Multi Finish Eye Palette. It's a reflective, sort of off gold shade. And this is what the palette looks like inside. This palette retails for $39. And from the pictures, I thought this would be a bigger palette, but it's actually pretty small, if you can see, compared to the size of my hand. So I will swatch these by row from left to right. And if we look closely, the shades in the first row are Autumn Blonde, Toasted Nut, Marsala Matte, 
Marsala Satin, Shifting Sand, and Cocoa Brown. Here's Autumn Blonde, which is a shimmery cream. It's got large, soft gold shimmer. Toasted Nut, which is a very warm toned orangey brown. Almost a copper, but it's a little more orange. The frosty finish. Here's Marsala Matte, which is pretty self-explanatory in terms of what color it is. This one is a little less brown toned than the other Marsala versions that we've seen in the other products. Here's Marsala Satin, so it does have some sheen or shimmer to the finish. This one is, I think, a little more warm toned than the matte version. Just a tad more brick, a little less cranberry. Here's Shifting Sand, just sort of like an antiqued, it's almost silver, but it has this hint of, I guess, gray gold to it. And here's Cocoa Brown, color is pretty much, it. the color is pretty much as named. All right, so here is the first row of shades. In the second row, we have Burro, Deep Taupe, Marsala Metallic, Marsala Glitter, Kelp, and Dusty Olive. Here's Burro, which is a soft medium brown. It's on the cool side. Here's Deep Taupe. Again, the name pretty much describes the color that it is. Marsala Metallic. Again, the name very well describes the color you're getting, a nice strong metallic sheen. Marsala Glitter. Getting pretty large chunks of gold glitter in this shade. Kelp, which is a metallic and glittery olive. And Dusty Olive, which is a much more green olive shade whereas this shade was much more of a grayed olive. Okay, there's the second row of shades. In the third row, we have Desert Mist, Butter Rum, Macaroon, Chutney, Nimbus Cloud, and Moonlight Blue. Here's Desert Mist, which is this oranged gold with a frost finish. Butter Rum, which is a coppered metallic brown. Here's Macaroon, which is a very soft browned nude. Chutney, which is a very warm toned sort of cardamom oranged brown. Nimbus Cloud is a glittery silver and midnight blue it's a navy blue with lighter blue glitter okay here is your third row of colors from the palette and in the fourth row we have carob brown bracken russet hot chocolate castor gray and red mahogany Carob Powder is a medium, slightly warm toned brown. Here's Bracken, which is a much more neutral gray based deep brown with silver. Actually, it's sort of like rainbow colored shimmer in there. Here's Russet, very warm toned medium brown. Hot Chocolate. This is your warm toned, almost a red, not even predominantly brown, I would say more of a red shade or maroon. Here's Castor Gray. This is a duochrome finished shade. It's sort of a warm toned reddish brown at the base with a green flash and mahogany, which is a deep plum with violet glitter. Okay, and there are your shades from the fourth and last row of the palette. 
And here's the Pure Marsala Matte Lip Cream. This retails for $18, and the shade is Marsala. Here's what the lip cream looks like. It's sort of a mauve nude color. Here it is up close, has a slightly glossy sheen to the finish. Here's the Metal Shine Liquid Liner, and this retails for $18, and it is in the shade Marsala. Here's how the Metal Shine Liquid Liner applies. Can you get that very earthy red color? And it also has a beautiful metallic shine to it. Here is the Shimmering Marsala Cheek Trio. This retails for $32. So starting from the left, you have Spanish Villa. That's the shimmering highlighting shade there. The middle blush shade is Coral Pink. And the large blush shade on the right is Marsala. So I'm first going to swatch these heavily just to show you the strength of the pigmentation. This is just applying with my fingers. Okay, so there's an idea of what the colors are like. Here's Spanish Villa. This is a nice champagne shimmer. Here's Coral Pink, which isn't really coral or pink, it's more like just a soft peach. And I'm going to add a second layer to this just to build it up a little bit. And Marsala, which is that brick brown red. Really nice pigmentation on this color, on all the shades really. Okay, so here are the three shades up close. Very nice, finely milled, but intense shimmer on the highlighter. Really soft, nice, peachy shade here. Better probably for lighter skin tones. And then you have this deep brick red. Um, this one has just a very slight sheen on it. Barely noticeable, looks probably pretty matte on the cheeks. And Marsala has a little more noticeable sheen to the finish. All right, so there you have the Sephora and Pantone Universe capsule collection for the color of the year Marsala. So for more detailed reviews, including photos and swatches and the lip products applied to the lips, make sure to see the description box below where I will update it with the reviews as they go up on the website. Overall, I think the eyeshadow palette is very nice. It has a formula that is very typical of Sephora's palettes and in previous collections with Pantone, if you have any familiarity with those palettes, the formula is pretty much the same. It's nice and sort of soft, but also can be kind of on the powdery and crumbly side. I really like the blush palette. I think that the highlighting and blush shades are very beautiful and have a very wonderful, creamy, smooth formula. The lip set I think will be nice for a neutral toned lip look. The liquid liner, I am not sure about just in terms of where and how you would wear it and avoid looking like you have sort of irritated eyes, but of course I will have to test it out in order to make a conclusion on that. And the face stick, I also really like. I think that it gives a beautiful russet sort of bronzed look to the cheeks and the formula is nice and creamy. And I think the lipstick will also be very easy to wear across a wide range of skin tones. All right, please let me know what you think in the comment section below. I hope this was helpful to you in deciding what you would like to purchase from this collection. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video. And let's get looking at the packaging and the colors. All right, so going in order from lowest number to highest, the first of the 20 shades is Azalea, Orchid, Sweet Pea, 